Hi, I'm Kiara, and this is my mom, Giuliani, from Salsa Colada. Um, today we're making a little pom-pom pet that's a pig. So the things you'll be needing are four yards of pink yarn, unless you want to make any other animals like this. And then you're going to need 12 inches of yarn. And you're going to need a hole punch, unless you have some black little beads for eyes, or anything else you want to use for eyes. You're going to need a fork, some sharp scissors, white glue, and that's about it. So, first what you want to do is you want to have your fork, and you're going to take this 12 inch piece of yarn. Should we get a close up? Maybe so that they can see a little bit, okay, what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to put the camera just on our hand so that you guys can see what we're doing. So, it's going to go in the middle part of the fork. And you kind of want a large fork. And it looks like that's good. Then, you're going to take all of this yarn, the four yards, and there's going to be about this much that you're just going to leave off to the side. And then you're just going to wrap it around and make sure it goes over this one. And then you just keep going. And then after you've done just the tiniest bit, you want to tuck it in. Tuck it in. I'm going to wrap a bit more. Okay, and then we're going to bring it up. And... You just want to cover it, right? Yeah, just so that it's not sticking it's out. Probably better to hold it from here. Then I would need to hold this up. Just like this. And if it's too long up here, like you see, I have extra you just bring it back down but all you really want to do is cover up that piece because you don't want that coming out because it'll just ruin the whole thing <laughs> so just going to go all the way around and you don't want it too close to the top but just not enough, enough that it doesn't go off and you're just gonna keep going until you've wrapped all the yarn you have. And the more you make, the better you get. Kiara has been making a few, so she's a little bit faster. It's okay to take your time. I think there's a knot here. How did this not get here? So then, once you're done, you have this last piece of yarn, and you're going to take your scissors and... Make it shorter, probably. Okay. There you go. From the back, tuck it in. Yeah. And then... You just want to tuck it in. Take this little piece and tuck it in, so that, again, it's not sticking out, because if it comes out, this whole thing will come apart. So then you have this, these two bottom parts right here and you can pull them to make them even and then you probably want an adult to do this part. This is probably one of the few times that you're going to need an adult to help you is to tie it. Am I, can you see it there? Okay, so you are going to take both parts and you're going to bring it over to the middle of the fork like this. And then you're going to tie it once. As, as tight as you can. Tie it once, but then now you're going to tie it twice on here. See that? Twice. And then you're going to pull. So you want to pull as much as you can without breaking the yarn. Because if the middle doesn't stay tight, then the little pieces the will come, come apart. apart once you cut them. So there you go. Then we do an extra knot just to make sure 
that it's secure and then you pull it out of the fork and you give it back. And now <laughs> you have this weird looking thing. So this is the fun part. It's the whole part that makes the pom pom. So this is where your scissors come in. Again. So you're gonna go in on one of the sides and make sure you don't go in too much or else you're gonna cut the middle. And it, the middle is the only thing keeping it together. So I just cut cut bits by bits a little bit because I don't like cutting the whole thing. <laughs> and remember, if you break one, it's okay. Make another one. Just keep doing them because then you're going to get really good and really fast at it. So don't worry about fluffing it out yet. It does look a bit wonky, but it won't when you're done because there's a few tricks to kind of trim it and make all of the little pieces even. And at the same time, don't cut this middle part because that will just break the middle. What will happen if you cut the middle part? This whole ball kind of thing. But nothing bad will just happen. Kind of just make another one. We don't know how many times I've cut the middle. <laughs> hard to see after it's all fluffed out because it's all fluffy and then you're like where's the middle? So sometimes you kind of have to just feel around and make sure you're not cutting the middle. Then this is a fun little you activity see this one to side, do. It kind of looks like a pom pom but then the other side doesn't. But that's okay because then you just cut this side. So the top okay to cut. So then, I'm just going to flip it over to the other side, and these strings are staying here, but we'll get to that later. Not to worry. That's weird, I'll cut that way. And I think I just broke it. That's okay, keep going. It is a bit hard, but you get much better at it. And you can make any kind of pit you want. We're just making a pig. I hope you're talking loud enough. Okay, all done. Mm, so I think you still have some here. Loops. Yeah. yeah. So you could just look for any loops, loops that you have left. Just be careful for them. Sometimes they're trapped. I've cut them and then sometimes they're not a loop and they're the mint. <laughs> so then, this part. Don't do okay. Yeah, you don't worry about that yet. Try not to pull them. If, they're, if one is like really long, you can just cut it. kind of looking like a pom-pom. Not too much yet though. And you can just cut anywhere you want, just like again. You just have to make the shape and that is, that's where you fluff it, fluff it, and while you're fluffing it, we're squeezing, you're going to be looking for any extra loops like here. There you go. And these ones you can see like they're not perfectly round. Because but it's very hard to, to make a perfectly round pom pom. Here you go. Do you want to give it a haircut? Now this gets a little bit raggedy first. So then that's when we get to the haircut. Do you see how messy that looks? So you that is normal. Just... So you just cut the longer hairs and try to stay within a circle. If you are um, probably under the age of eight, I would say, maybe your parents can help you uh, give it the haircut. Otherwise... I would recommend that if you are older than eight or if you feel comfortable with scissors, that you do it because you're going to get a lot more satisfaction knowing that you've done the whole thing by yourself, right? Yeah. So, it's almost done. So you just want to cut it and make it 
as round looking as you can. But like I said, it's not going to be perfectly round because that's really hard to do. <laughs> there you go. That looks very pretty, doesn't and it? That's very thick. Squeeze it like this. Yeah, and then you can take it like as if it's Play Doh to make it rounder. And then. Do you want me to make the knot for the for the strings? Okay. You want to do it? Okay. So there's these two strings left. If you want to, you can tie it up and hang it on a backpack, anything you want to hang it on. Or, it's a little bit louder. Or you can just cut them right off. Um, your choice. This one, we decided to keep it like this, but I think this one I'm going to cut. So you don't want to cut it too low. Just cut it as much as you can so then it looks like it's just part of all the other ones. There's a few parts here. Wow, when did this get that messed up? It's satisfying to find the loops after. Yeah. I think these are some of those pieces. Shall we get to the decorating? I think so. Okay. So now this is the even funner part. Ooh, oops. This is so fun. <laughs> they just come out of nowhere, those loops. Yeah. Let's take the top and middle. It was in the middle. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it was in the middle. Okay, so I think it's, yeah, we just leave it. So you don't want to take these pieces out, but I think that's good. Okay, so now you're going to take some little bead eyes like this. And, um, or you can just hole punch some out if you don't have any beads. And you're going to take your glue. So, this part is stuck on our glue. So, let me open that for you. Which side? Mm -hmm. uh, probably the flat side. So then, I'm just going to dab this in. Take an eye. Not a real eye. <laughs> and just put it right on the pig. Just like that. And then gonna take our other one. Wait, I can even find it and I roll that in my hands. Here it is. And I think there's still some. These beads are very They're hard alive. to keep track of. I think I need a bit more glue. It's pretty good. But those are really far apart. I think they are supposed to be far apart. So then we've got both eyes. I might have to give it another little trim, but that's okay. I'll do that after. And then, again, you can just hole punch a little pink piece and just do two little dots for the nose. And that is a look. Getting it all over my fingers more than anything, but that's okay. between the eyes. Just like this, and then our pig needs some ears. You probably wanna show them like that. That looks so cute. So then, for the ears, I think I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. 
You just need to get it on the bottom. And if you decided to use the string, try to make the ears as kind of like lined up with the string. And the other ear. I do them kind of above the eyes, just like that. So here's our pig. Should we get a closer look, Bobby? So there's our pig. So Should that. you put it like that and then show it? Can you guys see it? There you go. So and there we have the little pom-pom pig. And just like that, if you need to find the little pink ears, you can use a paint swatch or just, um, what would that be called? Uh, what else can we use for the ears? Any type of pink paper. Yeah, then you can just construction paper, ears. anything. Just get creative at home. Find things that are in the house. It'll, it'll feel better if it's something that you already have lying around. Anyways, um, so here's our little pig. The back is still kind of funny. Thank you guys. And I would love to see your own little pigs on, in the comments perhaps, right? So that we can check out how they turned out. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.